prison, some people's worst nightmare, some people's new home, and to others, an absolute joke. This is Mark DeFrice, a Florida inmate who was dubbed Prison Houdini after successfully escaping seven times. Few places were able to contain Mark, whether it be a cell, room, or unlimited void. He was able to escape it. Now you may be asking, how did he go to jail in the first place? Did he kill someone? Did he grape? Did he avoid taxes? No. DeFrice was sentenced to four years in prison for violating probation via illegal firearms possession. Having initially been arrested for retrieving work tools that his recently deceased father had willed him, before the will had completed probate. Then, being the snitch that she was, DeFrice's stepmother called the police, and he was arrested. For the theft, DeFrice was sentenced to four years in prison. What started as a four-year sentence turned into a very, very, very long game of tag, filled with years of emotional and physical abuse within the prison system. Out of 13 attempts, DeFrice escaped seven times. Like, the officers could flip a coin and it would most likely mean that he was going to escape. Now, Google won't tell me the order in which he escaped or how he did it every time, so here are some of the most infamous escapes in no particular order. In one instance, he broke wrist restraints, leg restraints, and a straitjacket, and it wasn't like he was a behemoth of a man either. So I just gotta ask, Mark, how did you do that? He may not have been built like a beast, but he sure as hell did have that dog in him. This was confirmed when he scaled a razor wire fence. He was as desperate to get out of prison as I am to leave school. They're practically the same. He also sawed through iron bars and jumped out of a window. Now some sources say that he has autism, but I say that he was just determined. He once made a zip gun out of a toothpaste tube. Now, I don't know how effective it would be in prison, but I kinda wanna learn how to make one of these so that I can shoot it at my brother. In one escape, he stole a car, hotwired it, and broke into one of his own friend's houses. And the most impressive story to me is when he memorized key patterns and replicated dozens out of scrap metal. But after clowning the United States prison system, he was incarcerated in California, where he served time for drug-related offenses. DeFrice was then held in Valley State Prison and was scheduled for parole in the summer of 2018. Mark DeFrice has spent 27 years in solitary confinement. But thanks to publicity and cries from the public, DeFrice was granted parole and released on February 5th, 2019. But 10 days later, he was re-arrested as he checked into a mental health facility. He was sent back to Florida State Prison, and Google tells me that as of January 20th, 2022, DeFrice remains incarcerated in Florida. Now, this was a man that didn't do anything worth more than four years of prison, but somehow got 30 years just because the prison system allowed him to. He was abused mentally and physically, being a place where he straight up, in my opinion, didn't belong. Stuck with actual scums of the earth, left to defend himself or run, and evidently he was forced to run a lot. But I would like to thank all of you for watching, and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another episode.